my 11th year out of 12 years because I missed the year because of my leg. Uh, uh, and I came in because uh, I was touring in London with Romeo and Juliet and the lady playing the nurse said, I know Kevin's looking for a dame. And I rang my agent and said, please tell Kevin I want to be a dame. And we met and just by luck, his best mate Tim Tresnell who's worked here. And I talked to him how to be a dame. Really? So he, oh, he, so he knew wow. and, he'd, uh, and um, Kev's son had, uh, had been to see him uh, and I directed him in Colchester and they loved it. So I got yeah. and a way in, I two, I've got recommendation, I've got a friend and I've got a history so, so that's the dead lucky. And what was the first year that you were here then? What was the year? Can you remember? It could be, I don't know, from no. the, that time. The first time I ever worked here was 1980. Three, I think, doing the, the, it was called the Great Eddie Ackroyd Disaster, and it was. <laughs> it was shocking. But then I, then I did the street when I met you. Yeah. And yeah. then I came and played George Formby in 1984 and 85. You did a bit of George in Gracie. Yes, in Gracie. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. we never stop. No. I'm a Yorkshire man who loves Oldham. <laughs> I'm a Rochdale lass that loves Oldham. How tell us if I've done that Oldham? I think this is my. This is my fourth, I can't remember. It is, yeah. yeah. Um, the, I think what you bring, what you bring there's that thing about the, about pantos like this, like they're uh, like uh, repertory pantos, everybody, there's, there are no stars. In, you know in, what, in that's it, yeah, there's, But yeah. because the audience know you and you're local, they like to see you. That's so, it, so, yeah. so, so you're not the kind. It's, it, it's kind. It's a funny sort of star entity. It? It's, it's like yeah, I don't mean, yeah. and, and it's like like they were they were so pleased that you're coming back. Oh yeah, which, which is, yeah. You know, no, it's lovely. Yeah, you bring, it's lovely. So you so you bring yeah. a, you bring a history. You bring there's, there's a I feel there's a sense of ownership that the audience need to have. Yes. Sheffield had it. Oldham's got it. Yeah. It's Oldham's pantomime. Yeah, it is. And, and they're inviting us in. And they love it when you turn up. Yeah. They particularly love you when you turn up. Yeah, on that's it. But also, like with you and Richard, because you've been doing it, that's what they, you know, that's what they want to they see get, now, they isn't it? Mm. Yeah. They love it. I mean, they, yeah. Yeah, they, they do. It's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, it is, and it's, um, and I think the audience is Northern. You know, they just, they tell you if you're not being good. <laughs> Don't they? I've never had that. <laughs> no, I, you might have had that. No, you're with your singing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that kind of girl. I'm just, I'm just learning. Do you learn it? I'm just doing ever so well. Do it ever so well. <laughs> whoa, oh, 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 well, I'll tell you one of the inspirations has been. I was given a book uh, uh, earlier, this, uh, earlier this year about writing, about writing. I've never read a, I've never read a book about writing. Mm -hmm. I just, I was asked to write a pantomime 20 odd years ago and I wrote it, so you fall into it. And uh, this mate of mine who is a writer kind of said, it's this book about, about uh, um, it's called The Hero's Journey. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. but it's just about the different, you, 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 you're at home, and then you, you, uh, you're, you're invited to go on a journey. You decide to step over the threshold. There might be a threshold gatekeeper who allows you through. There might be someone who helps you on your journey, gives you advice or a token and a token to get through. Mm -hmm. And I thought, tell you what I'll do. I'll read, I read the book and I thought, I'll sit down and I'll apply the, the, the things in it. It didn't mm -hmm. always work and it didn't, it didn't really matter. But I did enjoy it. So, the, so there was a new kind of, which altered the end for you. That's where yes. that, that speech oh, came from. Wow, right, from yeah. Uh, but generally yeah. speaking, what I do is that the, my main inspiration for all for all pantos is the Ladybird book version. I buy, I buy the Ladybird book, two of them. But, um, yeah. So I know you should destroy it. But what I do is I buy two and I get the pages and I put them out on the floor. Uh, and sort of Cinderella out on the floor yeah. with the ladybird drawings and then I'll go, I'll look at it and say well it needs an opening song, I put a piece of paper that says opening song and it needs, yeah. and it needs an end about one song, about end about one song, uh, the comedy song and I spread it out and slowly on the floor of my room this uh, the structure of the show. comes out Wow. Uh, and then I read other fairy tales and I used to buy 
I used to buy piles and piles of Joe books, mm -hmm. which you don't need now. You go on the internet, you put cow jokes, Jack and Beatles book, cow jokes. Yeah, of course you, you, you do. You know, and the, and Aladdin yeah. put up such a flying carpet jokes, and these jokes come up. It's really yeah. weird. Yeah, oh wow, yeah. My first memory of pantomime. I remember seeing a Christmas show in Bolton, which was the, um, I think I was about eight, and it was um, the little gingerbread man, and he got eaten, and I was absolutely devastated, you know. Um, I remember going and seeing Ken Doddy Blackpool in some Christmas shows, but my first, I think probably, being in them, being in them is like, you know, um, and it's such a, you think it's, oh great, I'm going to have such a good time because I'm in a pantomime and, and, and you do, but you don't realise it's, it's, it's a, a bit of everything in there, you're singing, you're dancing, you're acting, you've got to get a lot of comedy skills, a lot of slapstick, um, and a lot of the songs are intricate, aren't they, so yeah, you've got yeah. to like really, um, you know, spend some time studying them, you know, and, uh, and yeah, so it's, um, I think the very first memory was that um, gingerbread man, and I thought, well, I like this, I loved, you know, I was, being, I was so young, but I loved the colours, and this, the set, and the costumes, and the actors, you know, I thought, oh, they're larger than life, they seem, you know, everything's exaggerated. And the fact that you know men play women and yeah. My right. my first one was at the Lyceum in Sheffield. Yeah. And it was Gene Autry, the singing cowboy, had come over from America. Oh, in yeah. Jack and the Beanstalk. I don't know, I can't remember it, but yeah. how you put Gene Autry, the singing cowboy, to Jack and the Beanstalk, but all I remember is he shot himself in the foot because he didn't take his gun out of his ulcer. And I thought <laughs> it was the funniest ah. thing I've ever seen in the world. Yeah. It's that, that kind of comedy, isn't it? Yeah, brilliant. Old vaudeville, some of yeah, well, just, <laughs> well, yeah, they do the, the routines go back. It's not like the routines, so there's, uh, there's a fantastic... What it used to be, the Arlequinades that came before pantomime. The pantomime was a little divertimento inside the Arlequinade, and slowly yeah. that, the pantomime became more important than the Arlequinade. But it was, if you watch Charlie Chaplin or, or uh, people like that, uh, uh, the Keystone Cops, a lot of that routine is they're straight from the English pantomime. Yeah, they are, aren't they? The, yeah. And also the Have you ever been to Wilton's musical? No. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, no. It's beautiful. It's like an old theatre that they've done all the new It's wonderful to perform oh, right. and stuff. Yeah, and also the ball. Right, yeah. yeah. That's just in Eat the East End. Oh, right. Yeah, it's lovely. I've got a date now. I was trying to think actually. Um, I know I did. I, I used to do Christmas shows uh, when I was young. And when I was seven, I was in the Sight Junior Theatre Club. And when I was about 10, 11, 12, we did shows every year at Wick with Civic Hall that were kind of slightly pantomime, you know, we did Cinderella and um, Wizard of Oz and stuff like that, but we, we had that panto feel to it. So I kind of learned those like panto skills from that early age. Um, I think the first, I did, was it, um, it could have been Crow, Peter Pan, I played Peter Pan at Crow when I was about 26. I'm thinking it must have been before. Oh, it was before that, because it was before that. Alice in Wonderland, Bolton Octagon. I was Alice. Yes, when I was 17. That was a Christmas show, though. Yeah. And Jane Cox was in that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yes, that was. I was 17 then. And I remember, I always remember Pete. Do you remember Pete, Peter Alexander? Oh, yeah. Peter Alexander, he was in it. And I. And I um, of course, I hadn't trained and been doing grand school or anything like that. And uh, my mother had called me, I was sat on my, my, my mushroom, and my mother had called me, <laughs> Jane Cox had come in, uh, Alice, come in, uh, where are you? And I just got, I'm in the garden, garden, <laughs> I'm in the garden, mummy. And Peter Alexander used to say, garden, it's an M, garden, garden. It's the Northern Rock Show, but I'm in the garden. 
I met Peter, first time I met Peter Alexander was here. And yeah. he's the nosiest at Hill of Mount Mary, so he's the nosiest actor in Great Britain. And when yeah. I met him, he was stood on a stool looking through the skylight at the office with a torch trying to read letters on the desk to find out what was happening. That sounds like <laughs> Hello, Peter. <Yeah. laughs> uh, oh, and then my friend. Um, used to do shows at the Grace Fields Theatre in Rochdale, Colin Meredith, an actor, and, uh, and I used to do, yeah, I used to do shows there between like the telly jobs and stuff, yeah. And then um, my first panto here at the Coliseum, I think was about 15 years ago, and we did Cinderella, yeah. So there's a mind reading act in it that we've tried three times to get into the and we keep cutting and I love it. So in terms of fate, in terms of what I'm looking forward to, yeah. and I'm looking forward to it so much, I'm really jealous because I'm not doing it, two of the other actors are doing it. Yeah. And I know, I know it works, I've done it at Sheffield, it's a great routine. Yeah. We've changed it and we've made it and whatnot. But so I mean, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but it becomes the old thing, don't you? It's like what you're looking forward to is I mean, uh, the script's being written, Kevin and I have done that, but basically what's happening at the minute, every single day as we're working on it, that's changing. It's like, uh, 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 not in a, in a kind of frightening way, it's like it's just getting better, better, clipped, shorter, tighter. Uh, uh, and that process means that the thing that that came out of the, the, you know, my computer to Kevin and Kevin, Kevin's computer to the, the rehearsal room is not the script we'll be doing in, in mm. a fortnight's time. Something else is going to happen. And I love that. Some people don't like that, don't like that. Mm. They kind of, uh, but that, it's, it's that thing for me, it's a, it's a collaborative process. Maybe. Yeah. It, it's not like a, it's not writing a novel, it's not painting a picture. There's a gang of you who are all creative artists. And it's, mm. So I'm looking forward to finding, to really finding out what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's true that, and, and actually in rehearsals, you know, we say, oh, that doesn't work, let's, let's change that, let's, let's put that in, let's, oh yeah, keep that in, that really works. Yeah. So it's that kind of thing, isn't yeah. it? It's brilliant, yeah. And we've had that thing, and we've talked about it, because I'm from Yorkshire, it's interesting, because I'm from Yorkshire, uh, in my head, how, how words work for me, and how syllables work, and the rhythm of speaking is different to Anglish. Mm -hmm. so, as I've so as I've written this stuff, the bits that I've written, you kind of go, all right, that, I, that makes sense to me. In, but when, when as Sue's ready, she's got to kind of change this because, yeah, you can, yeah. because it doesn't fit in the same way. It, it just, it's just a different idiom. Yeah, it's, it is. And that's, yeah. You've, got to, you've got to embrace that. Um, yeah. So when you're going to let me And then I just, I just say, how do I say that? <laughs> what, 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 what am I meaning when Apothe I say that? Apotheosis. Yeah, apotheosis. Apotheosis, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, my. I, well, I'm playing the wicked stepmother. My full name is Countessa Viella Dipstick Squeezy Pocket, the 31st. Charmed. <laughs> um, and she is, she's very cruel. She's very, um, she's a bit of a narcissist. She's into what she wants, money. She loves money and power and men and she wants her girls to have everything that she didn't have. She wants them to be wealthy and marry a prince so she can be kept in the lifestyle that she thinks she is accustomed to. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's very funny, and, and, but I think there's a sadness underneath all that. You know, it's like all the layers you put on yourself to try and, try and create some outward character when inside you're really sad and I think that's that comes across at the end doesn't it it's like you know if people if people behave in a bad manner it's probably because there's something going on inside that they are truly not happy with in themselves and I think she's um, she's so far gone down that road of Burying her feelings and burying emotions. And this is very deep in it, the panto. <laughs> <laughs> there is re there's redemption. <laughs> there's redemption. It's great.
and, and turn it on. You turn on a sixpence, which I like. Yes. So she goes. She yeah. can. She, all of a sudden, she's funny. Then all of a sudden, she's really, she's really horrible. And yes. Then, and then it's like, oh yeah. Yes. And then, and then she's, then she's flirting, and then she's hurting. Yeah. Flirting, then flirting, and hurting. Then, yeah. She flirts. <laughs> she flirts. She hurts. It's the, the strap line. Yeah. <laughs> and she's, you know, when somebody wants, she's very manipulative. If she wants something, she'll try every which way to get it, won't she? Yeah. Um, I don't know, it's like you bring your wicked side out of yourself <laughs> that you can never, you can never do when you're in Aldi shopping, can you? Give yeah. me those frozen peas! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can, so uh, I can get a real buzz out of playing naughty, being a villain, yeah, on stage obviously, just on stage. <laughs> An angel. She's yeah. an angel. I'm an angel. I'm an angel. Yeah. <laughs> I think what it does for me, it gives me an opportunity to go on a, a journey on stage that normally I wouldn't get. So I can, like so the, the notion of not called five time Fontaine, but basically I'm a straight actor. I've read very much about my living actor. Um, and so it, what it does is it kind of places you. Uh, in a position where you can be funny, you can be relaxed, um, you can take risks, you can... There's the wonderful thing about the... the uh, after a while, like, like the chance of doing it for quite a long time, people know you and they want... To, they like it when it, when, when, you, uh, when it goes wrong, when you're in the moment, when, uh, when something mm -hmm. happens, and you just relax, you're so relaxed that you can just say, well, that's okay, I'll, accept, I'll accept whatever happens. I mean, I love that there's a wonderful, wonderful thing happened. I was doing it, it was uh, Aladdin, and uh, 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 the princess had been taken by a Banaza to, to his lair. And there's a little boy on the front row, this was in Wakefield, and he, and he, and he was going, he just was so desperate to tell me what had happened as I came to John. And, and, and I, I was able, as the day, I was able to stop this, just whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop the band, stop, stop, it's coming. Come here, this little lad came up and he sat on my knee and said, What's, what, what's happened? Well, there's this, this, this bloke and, he's, and he's, he's got a beard and he's, and he's, he's really nasty, is he? Yeah. And he's, and he's taken, he's, this princess, and he's taken, he's going to hurt her, you see? Oh. And also, and, and, and this was going to help. Well, there's this kid called Aladdin and he did. And it, we just had 10 minutes of this. Yeah, he told you the story. He told me the story. Yeah. And he kind of, and it's the opportunity for that. And yeah, for, an, for, a, for an actor, I mean, if, it's a bit like, I mean, Ken Dodd's been mentioned. It's like when Ken Dodd used to work, walk on stage, you're laughing before he starts because he brings all his history yeah, with him. Yeah, and if you get a chance like I've had to be a dame for 10 years, 30, 30, like 12, 13 years yeah. in the same place, you, you afforded that luxury of the audience a warm before you arrive. Yes. So, you know, to walk on a stage and have an entire room applaud you before you've opened your mouth, yeah. that it allows you to, 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 to relax. And if you relax, then you'll, you'll work, you'll be, you'll be funny. You'll, if anything happens, you'll not get yeah. tense. You'll say, yeah, come on, that happened, you know, the set fell over it. So, and it's that kind of license, I yeah. suppose, I like, I like about it. Yeah, I do, I do. Great fun. Mm. Which is interesting for me this year because I'm working, so I'm playing with an only sister as a day, so it's two days, so a yeah. double day banter. And, and look, I mean, I've known Simeon for five or six years now, and, but, we, but we don't know each other as a double act, we don't yeah. know each other as that. And what we're learning is, is how that translates into two of us because you can't both talk at the same time. He's, yeah. he, you know, if an audience goes there, we need to be able to share those moments and bring it along together. Uh, uh, you know, learning to, to walk in step, learning how we move when we're alike, when we're not alike. Is, uh, that, that's beginning, slowly beginning to happen. It's not there yet, but it will be. And it's yeah, and I'm definitely. Really, it's I'm really yeah. looking forward to that. Even at the level of which side is standing to mm -hmm. each other, I, I, I'm always standing to, to his to his right. Yes. Uh, and, and, we've, and that's, we've not talked about that. No, it's just It's happened. not been mentioned, it's just mm -hmm. happened. Yeah. And it feels comfortable, and that's been a surprise. And so then it's where, when the, the, the mother comes in, where does she stand right. with, with you both? And it's, I, I'm tending to go right centre, yeah. split you up, yeah. you know. It's, it's, and that, all, that, all, that stuff all depends on what you're doing. Yeah. Look, which one are you telling off? Are you telling them both off? Yeah. Uh, what do you need? It's, it's all, it's, uh, and what you just said about mum, it's like, 
with her, we're, we're her kids, so we've learned how to behave because how mm. she behaves. Mm. So being naughty, although we don't understand it because we're, 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 we're basically children, we're great big, daft, stupid children. But, but and, and what you want as a child is, is you want to be loved. Yeah, and so, and the way to be loved by our mum is if you're nasty to Cinderella, mm -hmm. then she loves you. If you're nasty to people, she loves you. Yeah. And that's what you're learning. When it gets to the nitty gritty, when it looks like something really very terrible has happened, they're lost. And yeah. you know, we'll, oh, I don't know that's yeah. right now. Uh, and the real, what's, what's, where the real world is, the real, the real consequence of their actions, mm -hmm. uh, we're still finding that was great. Well, yeah. Really yeah, interesting. Brilliant. It's, I think it's the war camp this year, and it's super, it's fantastic. I can't wait to see them all. I've seen the designs, they look brilliant. Yeah. I was in yesterday, the day before yesterday, being, being fitted, and uh, uh, you go, oh, all oh, right, oh yes, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I can do yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. See the right design, she, she does yeah, it really yeah, fantastic. She's, she's really and the, ma the making of them, mm -hmm. it's just, it's wonderful. Yeah. Mind you, we have given me some shoes for the ball at Rebecca. Six inches high. <laughs> so I don't know where that's going to go.